This all started with the idea of bringing back the old Angry Wave mark, which was uh, present in the 70s and 80s when we were having our greatest competitive success. And, and as Barry and I talked about it, uh, Barry came up with an idea of taking it a step or two beyond anything we originally considered. I love Tulane, I attend the Tulane. What can we do to kind of re-energize and get people interested in, in, in what's going on in the program? And, you know, I said, Troy, I said, why don't we, you know, build this giant angry wave? And we showed Troy and showed the, the stakeholders and everybody, and they loved the idea. This is a city of fun. This is a city of entertainment. and, and uh, if, if anything else, that logo, that mark, it's fun. Anything we do inside of a sporting venue for people to have fun, if we can start the process of having fun at the same time we're building a competitive team on the field, that's what Tulane Athletics wants to do in this community. It's going to be an experience uh, not only unique to, 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 to Tulane, but to anywhere in college sports. If I can, in my business, doing what we do, present something and help my school do something that frankly is better than anybody else in the country can do and, um, and that's what I think we've accomplished and uh, obviously the proof will be in the pudding Saturday night. You don't get to unveil new tradition very often tonight, we unveil new tradition. Uh, what's next is how do we carry that tradition forward? You know, being a student back in 1981, um, I got put in charge of building a homecoming float that I put a green wave on and I can remember that. And now I feel like I've come full circle back. My son is a freshman at Tulane this year. And I'm just really excited to be part of, uh, of this whole new era in Tulane Athletics.